faced with a big challenge. Fika matter is being just dumped anywhere on people's farms. My brothers and sisters, it is not a child's play. This is bad. It's bad. It's a serious issue. We are even killing our own people slowly mm -hmm. without knowing. We've politicized uh, sanitation issues in this country for too long. Whoever is in power should handle it. Whoever will come to power must handle it. There are issues of waste. How does Ghana want to manage its sanitation? It is very clear that the only way out is to have a compost uh, plant. We should be thinking about recycling and not landfill. Kumasi now need a recycling plant. Like Zoom Lion has done already with uh, a cup in Accra here. Abu Sokai, for the first time with my naked eyes, I saw waste being recycled. We went and saw what science has done here in Ghana. Zoom Lion has done very well. I was so happy. So we can do this in Ghana. Ghana must be developed by Ghanaians. So if you have a Ghanaian who is doing this, what do you think as leaders we should do? Any process that has been stopped should immediately be reinstated. I wish I were in office. With a population of about 29 million, Ghana is one of the most urbanized countries on the African continent. According to World Atlas in 2015, nearly 14 million Ghanaians, about half the population, live in towns and cities. And this rapid urbanization is causing a lot of challenges, including serious sanitation-related issues. According to UNICEF, there is no clear urban basic sanitation strategy and plan in Ghana. Various approaches and interventions in urban basic sanitation are quite not effectively coordinated and monitored. This is having a massive knock-on effect on the population's health, dignity and economic growth. To have first-hand experience and information towards sanitation improvement, three parliamentary select committees, namely Environment, Science and Technology and Innovation, Local Government and Rural Development, and Water Resource Works and Housing Committees embarked on inspection tour in four regional capitals to assess the state of waste management facilities in the country. As we are all aware, uh, sanitation is becoming an epidemic. It's getting out of hand and we need to do something and that is the reason why we are here. The inspection tour, which started on the 10th to the 13th of September 2019, was necessitated by receipt of a number of complaints on sanitation issues, especially regarding the precarious state of landfill sites. Critical among them is a bone landfill site, which was consumed by Inferno last two months, posing a health hazard to the community and its catchment area. When the outbreak of the fire in that major, uh, the huge, huge landfill site at Tema came up. It, it, we wanted to go there as an individual, uh, as, as a committee, just a single committee of environment. But we realized that the, the challenge was more than just environment. So we needed local government, we needed uh, Western housing, and then the sanitation ministry also uh, comes in here. This fact-finding tour afforded the honorable members the opportunity to have first-hand information as well as to ascertain the veracity or otherwise of the issues brought to its attention. The tour began in Kumasi, where they were received by the Ashanti Regional Minister, Honorable Simon Osaimeza. We thank the Joint Committee very much for taking time to visit us. And we are very much delighted in the sense that in the region, our major problem is rules. And after that, the next one is sanitation. The committee members visited the OT landfill site and assessed the challenges that come with waste separation and segregation. To inform themselves on the alternative and a modern way of managing the city's waste, the joint committee continued to the construction site of a compost and recycling plant being developed by the Jasper group of companies to offer a scientific and technological means of managing waste. The point 
the company has reached is to get the optical agreement signed. That is where the company is having some challenges. Uh, we are trying to assist, but we are here to make any significant headway. The inspection tour continued to Accra, Tamale, and ended in Takrade. After the tour, the members of parliament from the three select committees declared Ghana's sanitation problem a crisis situation. Very soon, may God forbid, but I, I foresee a danger ahead of all of us. We are all in danger. Go around and see the leaching. This thing will definitely find their source into some water bodies. And people will drink, cattle will drink, affect the life of Ghana. So in actual fact, we are even killing our own people slowly. The challenges we are confronted with cannot be solved in a piecemeal manner. The issue has gone beyond local issues. It become a central issue. We need a Marshall Plan for our sanitation. And I think that we should have clear-cut policy outline on how we want to manage our sanitation the way forward. At a news conference to announce their findings after the tour, the MP said the situation amounts to a national security threat. It was horrible. Horrible. We are faced with a big challenge. Fika matter is being just dumped anywhere on people's farms as manure, not treated. And, and people don't know that that rather will kill your plants. My brothers and sisters, it is not a child's play. It's a serious issue. This is bad. It's bad. The report recognized the fact that the municipal and district assemblies which have the mandate to ensure the country is clean are under immense pressure for various reasons. But there is some solution which the assemblies can tap into as there are various waste management facilities around the country that manage various forms of waste. In Accra, the Integrated Recycling and Compost Plant, IRECOB, recycles majority of the municipal solid waste generated. It is very clear that the only way out is to have a compost uh, plant. Kumasi now need a recycling plant. Like Zoom Lion has done already with uh, IRECOB in Accra here. For the first time, with my naked eyes, I saw waste being recycled. We went and saw what science has done. Here in Ghana, Zoom Lion has done very well. I was so happy. So we can do this in Ghana. I forgot that I was in Ghana. Was the first, that was the first time I saw it. The Lavender Hill Liquid Waste Treatment Plant also treats fecal waste, which was previously dumped into the sea. The good news is that here in Accra, a sewage systems Ghana Limited has three plants that take care of liquid waste generated. According to Gamma, we generate 26,000 cubic liter of liquid waste per day. Now of this, we have three plants that has the capacity of treating 18,300 cubic liter of liquid waste per day. Now we have a fecal treatment plant that takes that which comes from the Mabu from our homes for those of us who are not connected to the Siwa network. And that is a lavender hill treatment plant. That's this edifice There is also the Zoom Park Medical Waste and Sewage System Ghana Limited, which serve the purpose of managing hazardous component of healthcare and liquid waste, respectively, using ultramodern and environmentally friendly treatment technologies. We believe that we could have what we have in Accra. We could have the same thing in Kumase. We could have the same thing in Takura. We could have the same thing in all the regional capitals. In Takradi, Zoom Lion is to set up a waste treatment plant just like Arikop, which will recycle majority of the waste it receives soon. The construction of waste treatment plant in Kumasi by the Jospon Group has reached an advanced stage. It will also process and recycle municipal waste generated in Kumasi and its environs. This facility comes with the construction of a 10.5 km asphalt road for easy access to the plant. This is a major bridge. Now we need to do it. It's about, yeah. That's fine. Four meters high. Four meters high. And then, then that's. A two span, 40 meter bridge. Mm. 40 meters. We have about 12 bus orbits. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, 
It's an expensive one. 40 meter bridge. Yes. Yes. We are looking at, you know, in general about 50 million Ghana cities. For the first time, I saw a private mine, an individual, who used 50 million Ghana cities. If you convert it into the old Ghana cities, it is 500 billion to construct an aquatic 10.5 kilometer road just to enable the people of Kumasi to be able to bring their waste into a plant, a recycling plant that he is manufacturing to be able to recycle the waste. For me, we have the people here who have all the personnel who can do the job. We should not sit down expecting somebody from elsewhere. Everybody who tells his wife that I'm going to Ghana to recycle waste is coming to make money and go. Japan was developed by Japanese, America by Americans. So it is Ghana must be developed by Ghanaians. It can't be lamenting, oh, as for this, we will do this, we'll go and bring this, but nobody will be brought, like he said, the people are here. It is so important that we do everything possible to equip our own people, to challenge them, to make sure that we develop faster. I'm pleased somebody has constructed wood. What I can do is to play the advocacy to make sure that government signed that off-taker agreement. Zoom Lion is also in the process of replicating the Arikop concert in Tamale to treat the 350 metric tons generated daily in the northern regional capital. Recycling is the easiest way to save the public, save the country and save the people and save the land. So what are we waiting for? Parliament as a body should take a stand and say that, look, we are demanding of the executive this way forward. We should be thinking about recycling and not landfill. Recycling, as iterated, is the way to go. The way forward is for us to have such uh, facilities replicated across the country in all the regional capitals. Should the assemblies acknowledge and make use of these scientific waste management system, the head of municipal waste management and its related sanitation issues will be better managed to make Accra the cleanest city in Africa. Long live Ghana and may Ghanaians live healthier.